continuing our discussion of physical access controls would be lighting. Now lighting is the most basic and common physical control used for perimeter security. However, it's best used only in low threat areas. All that lights really do is just illuminate an area. It doesn't really protect or control the area. It just illuminates. When you illuminate an area, anybody who's determined is probably going to be able to get around illumination and it's not going to bother them that much. But you do want to make sure that if you have other controls in place, you should not use your lighting to illuminate additional controls. The idea is if you have multiple controls on guard, such as security guards, closed circuit TV cameras, or guard dogs, you don't want to point out their existence and their presence by lighting them up. Leave them in the dark and you'll get two things. Number one, you'll get obscurity. You will basically hide or potentially hide the fact that they exist. And secondly, especially in the case of security guards and security dogs, if you are in the dark, it's a whole lot easier to see items that are in the light and in the dark. But if you're illuminated, it's harder to see things that are in the dark. So it's a lot better to make sure that lighting is only used as a low threat area control and it's not going to be used to illuminate your other supplemental controls.